Virgo, 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 what is going on with you, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I'm back at you to find out what the energies are surrounding you in the month of March. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Shout out to everyone who's been showing my page love. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Shout out to y'all. I hope y'all enjoy um, the tarot readings the, for my ladies, the Divine Feminine um, Daily Bread that I've been posting. And I hope you guys can come over and join me in the morning slide. So thank you so much for all the love and support. If anyone wants to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking that About tab. There's a hyperlink at the bottom that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, that's Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Alrighty, alrighty. And if this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation, you can do so by clicking that PayPal information that is in the description. All right, Virgo, let's get into the reading. Thank you so much, Father God, for the guidance, for the love from above and for the wisdom. Thank you for putting your hands around our family, anointing us with just blessings. Thank you for so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being in our heart, minds, and our body, and our soul, and following us, and just keeping your arms around us, and keeping the layer of protection around us and everyone that we love. Thank you so much. The sign of Virgo is definitely feeling a certain sense of control. They are regaining control. They are regaining their happiness. They are regaining their growth and they are looking forward into enjoying the rest of the winter and definitely looking forward to the spring. I feel like, you know, the sign of Virgo has a lot of things that they're looking forward in spring and they just want some additional guidance in March to make the month of March, uh, you know, exciting and you know vibrant and and joyful so father god please give us guidance for the sign of virgo for the month of march thank you again for the guidance and the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future thank you so much thank you give me guidance for the sign of virgo Do I really want to take all these cards? The death and the maiden. Invasions, boundaries, violated, dominance, breaking of dawn, and a wonderful idea. Aha at the moment. Okay, this is what I'm getting. All right. So I feel like you're you feel like your space is being invaded by somebody. There is someone that is around you that isn't really paying attention to how invasive they are i feel like you got someone that checks your phone i mean even down to you know like how they be like uh you uh, pull your pants down let me smell your dick like <laughs> like this is like the type of person like someone that just really does not trust you at all and looks i mean they be trying to break passwords this person be checking gas mileage i mean this person is very insecure and invasive and they are just really draining you and sucking you of all your energy and not only that i feel like this person um it's not only invasive but this person really does take advantage of you they take advantage of your kindness how giving you are and they're just insecure and they're controlling and they don't really care about how they're affecting you and affecting your life. And I feel like they're sucking all of the goodness out of you. And you need to get this person. You need to get this person out of your space. It's a break in the dawn. You know. There is. Um, it's time for change. It's time for change and new birth. And I believe that this change. And this new development. And this growth. And this bountifulness is coming quicker than you even know it. And um a, uh, it says clockwork pumpkin a wonderful idea an aha moment I feel like the time is up the time is up for somebody I feel like the time is up for somebody and I feel like that you are ready to take a journey and I feel like by autumn you want to have your own environment you want to have your own you want the 
clock of faith in the clock of good fortune to finally turn in your favor and i feel like it's the time the time is up for certain people it's time for this person who's just been violating your boundaries and invading your life and just sucking all the goodness and the pure good energy out of you. It is time for this person to go. It is time for this breaking of dawn, for this new blessed beginning. And you're right. It is time to go. It is time to clean up. It is time for this person to get out of your space and your energy. And by autumn. Okay, I'm seeing by like, uh, like September three and nine. So you're coming to this recognition in the third month, which is March. And by nine, by September, you want to see results of the changes in your life. All right. Please give me additional guidance for sign of Virgo in the month of March. Thank you so much. Please give Virgo guidance in the month of March. Y'all focus on something in y'all past. Y'all feeling like a sense of nostalgia or something like that. Feeling like y'all still think about somebody from your past. Everybody's been getting this four cup card. Good gracious. So you want forgiveness. You want your family back. You want forgiveness. You focus on something in the past. You want your family back. You want forgiveness. You're finally paying attention. And I feel like you're... You're trying to go... Yeah. The Hierophant. Hmm. All right, you guys, this is what I'm getting here. Um, This is the Six of Cups. I feel like you have bumped into somebody from your past. Um, someone that, you know, puts a lot of good memories and a sense of nostalgia in your heart. I feel like you're thinking back to the good memories of when you and this person were around and that you guys filled each other's heart up with joys and y'all planted this beautiful garden right here and it still exists and um i still feel like you still feel like there might be a chance there there's a situation going on right now that you're dealing with where you're just now paying attention that the fact that um, all of the cups are spilled and it might be time to emotionally move on as you can see this crab is moving back into the waters and um Someone looking at the crab moving elsewhere. So I feel like you're finally paying attention that, you know, everything is spilled. It might not be anything left there of value in the current situation that you're in. And you bumped into this person from your past and you're thinking about all of these fond memories from when um, you guys were together and everything was good. I feel like that was the best time of your life. And... You felt complete happiness. Like this felt like home to you. You were in complete emotional uh, like balance. You All your cups were filled in this situation. You were seeing rainbows, unicorns, pixie dust, and just like glitter and marshmallows and ice cream sundaes. I mean, it was just like the best experience in your life. And I feel like you really do look back at this situation where, um, I feel like you do look back at the situation a lot where you were emotionally secure and you're looking back at the situation thinking like, should you return back there and make an offer there? Should you return back there and make an offer? This is the judgment. You see that they're being summons from uh, the grave there. You know, I feel like you're possibly trying to resurrect something from the grave where there was a family before. There was a family before and you see this person is trying to soar. So this person is like trying to move forward and I, I feel like they're trying to ask for, for forgiveness and trying to face certain things in the past that might have um, ruined this 
connection. I feel like this connection was ruined because people were not on the same page. They did not have the same beliefs. They did not have... Um, Someone kind of turned their back on this situation and went their own way, basically. They decided that they they really didn't need any guidance from nobody. And they, they, they found their own path and they wanted to do their own thing. And I really do feel like they took their pinnacle and they, you know, ventured off elsewhere. You know, they rushed off elsewhere and they moved forward and they gave that offer to... This lifestyle that was a little bit untraditional, them not being with their family. That's what they moved forward and that's what Virgo or the person that was dealing with Virgo moved towards. And that's what they put their value in only to realize that, you know, maybe they made the wrong decision. You know, it was something that was destroyed. It was something that was destroyed and they're sitting back having to think and, you know, go over things. They're having to think and go over things that happened in the past and how things happened and how that foundation got destroyed and how they could have did things better and woulda, shoulda, coulda, this, this, and that. So this person is like going through a long process of healing. And um, I'm also feeling like this person that is hoovering and invading. I want to say that this person is has destroyed that foundation back there and they're, and they're recovering and they're healing and they see that that whole situation is burning down to the ground and they don't even care they don't even care they're moving forward to going on their own route and being single again that's honestly what I'm seeing they burnt down that foundation and they're healing they're moving forward to a new solid investment something that they can really invest their time and they can grow and they realize that there's nothing more that they can learn here that they do not want to work with this organization this um group of people they don't you know think alike anymore so it's just no point of trying to follow their path they're going on their own and they want to go ask forgiveness from something in the past where their emotions were completely fulfilled and everything was completely balanced and they're thinking about going back and making an offer where they had emotional balance. Something where, you know, something from the past. Somebody that reminds them from the past. Something from the past where they created their own garden. A beautiful garden that brings them a lot of good memories. So that's what's going on with Virgo. Let's get some additional guidance from Virgo. Take the phone in your room. I want you to do the phone. I go take the phone in the room. I'm recording. Okay. Excuse me, guys. He's giving me guidance for the sign of Earth. Bro. The month of March. Thank you so much. Sister, love yourself first, Virgo. Your self-respect makes you more attractive. It's an attraction. what I'm getting Virgo you gotta love yourself first you gotta love yourself first do not let nobody hoover over you and suck your energy dry do not let someone hoover over you and step over your boundaries nobody I'm sorry nobody should be in your phone in your email in your pockets in your I mean come on in yo they should not be in your ass like that. They really should not be in your ass like that. And if you loved yourself a little bit more, you would not let somebody invade your space like that. If they don't trust you that much, why the fuck are they with you? They need to leave you the fuck alone and they need to go on. But it's okay. Like I said, you having that breaking in the dawn. You about to clean your space anyway. 
Because I don't know if they know, but they about to get the fuck out of here. And um, I see it happen way before autumn. Way before autumn. And if it ain't, it definitely is going to happen by autumn. By the time them pumpkins and stuff start to get harvested out of the damn ground, honey, you're going to be the fuck up out of there. They do not at all plan on taking you into 2020. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. Virgo seems like they're focused on something in the past. They're focused on something in the past. And they're trying to take their own direction. Because they want something solid. They want something committed. But they got to love their self first. You got to love yourself first. Because if you don't love yourself first. And stand up for what you believe in and who you are. You will allow people to treat you and do anything. And that's what you've been allowing. People to control you and do whatever the fuck they want to do. And right now you have a brand new person that you're attracted to. Something has reawakened this attraction from something in the past. And it's made you want to retreat from your current situation. And you're thinking about having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person in the past. Let them know how you feel. And also let this person that you're currently with know that you're not feeling like you want to express your love in this situation no more. You're too invasive and you're too controlling and you're too insecure. I want my relationship to excel to greater heights i want my love life to ascend to a higher level of commitment and it ain't gonna be here it ain't gonna be here you lit the fire and you let it burn you found cover so you can be safe and heal and allow that foundation to burn so you can create something new you done made your mind up i'm not i'm not doing that no more i'm not doing that no more I'm still attracted to somebody from my past. Spirit, please give me guidance for the sign of Virgo. Come on, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Come on, we're going to get some strength, Virgo. We're going to get some strength up in here, baby. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't let nobody hoover over you like that. And y'all so soft spoken and kind and just non confrontational. I can see how, see, y'all don't, y'all trying to reject it. Y'all don't want to offer to the current situation that y'all are in no more. Y'all want to take back your offer. You don't want to do that no more because you feel like that there might be some underlying deception that you don't see. Because it's like, why the fuck are you down my back like that? Because I'm not doing nothing. So you must be projecting. You must be projecting because I damn sure ain't doing nothing. I damn sure ain't doing nothing this summer. Okay. So at the end of the day, there's certain transitions that you want to make by the summer that you think might not be able to happen. You want to know if you can clean this shit up so that you can have, you know, a better life by the summer. And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. You got the guiding light. You know exactly what to do. You know where to go. And you know that you want to get this situation out of your energy. And, and that's exactly what you're doing. And if you want to go back and you want to make an offer in the past, the answer is yes. Go and do it and see what happens. But listen, this is what I'm going to tell you because I don't want nobody coming down in my um comment section saying, Well, you said yes to go back to somebody in my past and then this, this, and that. You know your situation. If you... In your last interaction with your ex from the past, this person said, get the fuck out of here. I don't ever want to talk to you again. Woo, woo, woo. This person don't want to talk to you again. Just because I said that, okay? Just because I said that, that might not be what is going on in your situation. You have to take consideration to the energy surrounding your situation with your ex because this is universal energy for like maybe 75 percent of the virgos if they went back you know to this person in the past because maybe they didn't end off that bad maybe things weren't as bad where it's like london bridge completely fell and now we taking ferry boats over to the side because ain't no bridge no more and i don't think nobody got no money to build no bridge you see what i'm saying it ain't nothing like that so 75 percent of virgos maybe if they went back 
everything would be cool. And 25%, it ain't cool because when y'all left your situation, it was pretty fucked up. And this person don't want nothing to do with you. And when you left them, they ain't want nothing to do with you. Um, they, you ain't want nothing to do with it. So please take responsibility. Please take responsibility, okay? There's somebody in your current situation that you want to take an offer back from because you feel deep in your gut there's deception that you do not see. You wanted to know if you can get this situation out of your life by the summer. For some reason in your brain, you don't think that you can do it. But Spirit is telling you, yes, that you can make this transition by the summer. So by the fall, by autumn, you are going to be able to pick your ripe harvest. Because you are being spiritually guided and you know exactly what you're doing. Get rid of this by the summer. Block this out of your life by the summer. Because there's something going on with this person. People don't act that damn insecure for no freaking reason. Why? Why is this person so evasive like that? Please give me guidance in regards to what's going on to the, in the darkness. What's going on in the shadows. With this person that Virgo was dealing with. Why are they so invasive? Why are they so insecure? Please give me guidance. Unavailable. Oh, gee. Mm -mm. That's too much. Unavailable, shocking, and cowardly. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. So, excuse me, you guys. Okay, I'm going to have to read this. I'm going to have to read this. So, basically what's going on is the person that you're dealing with, I feel like they are unavailable. And they feel like maybe you're unavailable for some reason. I want to kind of say like, it's shocking to this person that you have kind of turned your light out and you've been unavailable to them. That you're, you're kind of blocking your energy out. And I feel like you're kind of tired of them. They felt like Virgo is so passive that they'll be too cowardly to stand up to me. And, you know, make me eat my own shit. And they're shocked. You're standing up for yourself. And you're just like, man, I ain't dealing with this shit no more. I am not dealing with this shit no more. And they're shocked at the fact that you've been taking your energy off of them and thinking about this person from the past. And I feel like they are deeply scorned. This person is deeply scorned and they are trying their best to not go too far with this shit, but deep rooted in their stomach. Like they cannot believe that you actually are like acting distant and acting weird with them, you know? This person is too forceful. This person is too forceful in a negative way. In a negative way. And I don't feel like Virgo is using their intuition about the situation. This person... I don't want to say this person is dangerous because I don't think Virgo is scared because people be sleeping on Virgo. They think that Virgo will not snap on your ass. Virgo will snap and pop your ass. Don't take that passive shit for... Nothing. Just because they don't want to fight and they don't want to argue with you don't mean that they're a pushover. You know, like this person really do thinks that Virgo is cowardly and they won't go anywhere. They 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 think that they think that Virgo is cowardly and that they'll never do nothing. They think they don't think that Virgo will have the strength to do anything to fight back, to really be scorned by their behavior. And to do any fucking thing about it. And at the end of the day. They're going to continue to force their way. And then do whatever the fuck they want to do. As long as you're not using your intuition. Alright. And now that you're finally. Being unavailable emotionally to them. 
They can't even fucking believe it. They can't even believe it. They're like, this cowardly motherfucker. This person that I thought would never stand up to me. They're finally standing up to me. And I can't believe it. This person is cold. This person thinks that you are cold to them. You are cold to them. And not only that, but there's no more lust in the relationship. You've completely cut off the sex, Virgo. <laughs> and that makes them uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. They see you trying to figure out a way to escape, but you just can't figure out how. And that's why they're being extremely forceful on you now. Do you see what I'm saying? They know that you're secondary to this thoughts in the head. You're, they are secondary to the thoughts in Virgo's head and this imagination about this new beginning and how they're thinking about they want to make their life change. It don't even matter if there's anybody around Virgo right now that they're attracted to they're just attracted to thinking about how good shit was in the past you see what I'm saying how happy they were in the past and it might not even be that they seen somebody from their past they might have just seen something that reminded them from their past and made them start thinking about to the past and wanting to make a better offer to their self for happiness because their life was better before they got into the situation. And it's just like, I want to offer myself a chance of that happiness again. That true emotional fulfillment, true love and shit. At least I felt true love before. I, I don't feel it right now. And you're like, this person is embarrassed that you're dealing with. Because they never thought that you would stand up. And that you would do anything. And now they're vengeful. They've been trying to hold this shit inside and not be scorned and not let it boil up. But the, now they are so shocked. They are so shocked that you, they, they thought that you would always be a coward and that you would never get scorned by their behavior. And <laughs> this person, I feel like this person can get ruthless. This person is vengeful and they can get ruthless. And I want you to watch it, Virgo. And I think that's why you have been teeter-tottering around how to get around this person. Because this person makes you extremely uncomfortable. And you don't want this person to act like a goddamn asshole. Because this person is fixated on this connection. Because like for them to be this obsessed and this deranged and this uh, invasive and to feel this insecure. And I don't think that um, I don't think that Virgo is doing anything. I don't think anything that they're doing anything at all. This person is too self-indulgent. The only thing that this person thinks about their self. The only thing that they think about is their self. And it's very hard for Virgo to walk away and they know it. And they know it. And... I feel like this person that you're dealing with is envious of Virgo and also envious of the past. I feel like this person feels like they'll never be able to live up to Virgo's past. And that's like an insecurity in their chest and in their heart that they allow to interfere with the interaction in which y'all bonding. And it's not going to grow and it's not going to be anything positive or loving because this person is so fucking insecure so insecure and so overbearing and so invasive and so rude. They felt like they can just continue on like this forever. I feel like this person felt a sense of power almost. Being able to control and dominate Virgo like this. You know. They never thought Virgo was going. They never. Spiritual teacher. And studying. I feel like Virgo has been getting some spiritual guidance. Clearly you guys are watching tarot, tarot readings. And y'all have been hearing about this. And body work. <laughs> I feel like after y'all release yourself from this situation. Y'all gonna fuck around and go get y'all a damn tattoo. <laughs> y'all gonna get a tattoo. Like I done finally released myself from this toxic bullshit. Because it took you a lot to get some strength to release yourself from this situation. And, and I feel like you're going to go and get some. You're going to go get some body art to reward yourself about this transition that you have made. You're going to go. Shit, you're going to go get a pumpkin. It's like, no. I'm <laughs> but autumn is going to be. September is going to be a big month for y'all. This is going. The third month. 
March is going to be the month of change where you're coming to mental realization that you are happier in your past. And it might not be a particular person that you want to. You were just happier. You were in a more emotional, abundant, happy place back then. You were in a better fulfilled emotional place even if you was by yourself you wasn't by yourself but you just remember what a, a, a healthy and loving relationship feels like and it damn sure ain't this you want to attract something new in your in your life you want to love yourself right now you want to love on yourself right now and you need this person clear your fucking environment You've been listening to the spiritual teachers and the spiritual healers. They've been enriching your soul and they've been giving you some good insights. And I've been feeling like you've been seeing the one one ones, the two two twos, the four four fours, and the five five fives. You've been seeing the numbers and you've been studying this stuff and you've been, you know, trying to figure out ways to vibrate higher. And I feel like in your craft and your career that you've been studying and. You know, maybe you guys have been studying body art. I feel like some of you guys are, you know, getting into tattoo. Maybe you guys have been studying body work art and um, body painting and, and things like that. And, yeah, like drawing and drawing on bodies. Like, you guys have been doing tattoo, like you're a tattoo artist or you're studying, you're practicing to be a tattoo artist or I see like women doing body paint, body paint, um, and it's taking a lot of strength for you to, you know, come out of this situation. And I can see you even rewarding yourself with some body paint after the completion of this union. Y'all going back to happiness. Y'all are going back to happiness. And you don't know if you're going to be able to pull this off. It's just like, man, am I going to get this bitch? Am I going to get this guy out of my life? By summertime. Because I'm not trying to be dealing with this shit in the summertime. Spirit says yes. Spirit says yes. And for some of y'all that do want to go back to a situation in y'all past. That made you happy. If you know. That y'all didn't end things off that bad. And that this person might be receptive to your advances. Go ahead and and. and it don't hurt but to shoot your shot, but don't put no expectations in it because if you don't get the results that you're looking for, please do not come in my comment section and be like, but you said no. Use your judgment. Use your judgments and don't put no expectation in it. The only thing they can say is yes or no. That ain't going to kill you. They say no, no means no. Continue to move forward because at the end of the day, at least you got this idiot out of your life. You know what I'm saying? So you can breathe. And clearly, in the month of March, you're going to find some joy. You're going to find some joy because you're going to free yourself from this situation. Because you said, I'm not going to continue to not reward myself. I'm not going to continue to not reward myself. You've been holding your, yourself back dealing with this damn situation. Not only that, you feel ungrounded. You don't have no balance. You don't feel like you got grounding. God and Spirit is trying to tell you, if you need help, just ask me. But you are not really bending down on the bending knee and asking. This situation has been blocking your creativity. And Spirit is asking you, what is it that you desire? What do you really want to do? Figure out what you want to do and ask because you're not doing it. You're not doing what you need, what we need you to do if you want us to help you. Please give us some additional guidance for the sign of Virgo. And then we are out of here. Please give me some additional guidance for the sign of my book. Thank you. Please give the sign of Virgo guidance for the month of March. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please give the sign of Virgo guidance. The Hermit and the Sun. Yeah, you want you want to retreat from your current situation because you are not happy you are not happy you do not see no illumination you don't see no growth you you just like you just don't you don't you don't you 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 want to retreat and give yourself some space to room some space to breathe some space to heal some space to grow to look at the stars and to think and to go over everything that happened and figure out how you can do things better before you go out there and then try to reshape your future. That's what Virgo wants to do. They just want joy in their life. They ain't been happy. They have not been happy in the current situation that they've been in. And they don't want to offer shit to. They do not want to invest not another dime, not another goddamn time in this situation. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. 
they're not willing to compete. They're not willing to argue. They're not willing to fight. They're not willing to go through any battles. They're not willing to go through any battles anymore. They're just like, I'm done. Because I want true love. I want a soulmate. And I'm tired of being out in the cold. I'm tired of struggling. I'm, tried, I'm tired of being in this mindset of lack. I'm feeling like I can't never do anything right. I feel like, you know, as much as you work towards this relationship with this person that's been hoovering over you and invading your life, no matter how much work you put into the situation, you can never do enough. You can never make this person happy. This person kept you in a, in a mindset of lack where nothing was never good enough. And this person, you felt like this person had you out in the cold. And it's just like right now, I don't want to take care of you anymore. I don't want to take care of you no more. I don't want, I'm not your mother. I don't, I don't want to do this no more. So for some of the Virgo women, I feel like. They almost feel like a mother to the person that they with. And they're just like, man, look. One minute I'm out in the cold. And one minute when you want me to take care of you. You want you want to love me and shit like that. I don't got time for this shit. I want my true soulmate. Alright? I'm not your fucking mother. I'm not your mother. I'm not your mother. I'm not an idiot. Okay? And for a matter of fact, I shut you out in the cold. Because I want true love. I want true love. I, I don't... This relationship is over. Divorce, the end. Murder, she wrote. Murder, she wrote. Na, na, na. Murder, she wrote. Murder, she wrote. And na, na, na. Look. The battle, the conflict is done. I ain't got nothing to give to you. You don't make me happy no more. I'm moving out. Okay? I want to be to myself. Because I need to be to myself. Again, to myself. That don't mean you hoovering over me. That don't mean you watching me online. That don't mean you mad. To myself. To myself. I want new love. I want true love. It ain't what you love. Okay? You're done. You're it. You're out. You're the little lamb on the other side of that damn window. Look, I don't give a fuck. You go, bah, bah, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't hear you. I ain't, I, look, I don't take care of wild sheeps, bitch. <laughs> find a new home i'm done virgo this has been good if this video resonates make sure you like share and subscribe okay and if you would like a personal and private reading go ahead and hit that about about tab all right click that about tab and there's a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me scorpion reds tarot as simply book me go ahead and click that and select what type of reading you want and i got you baby i got you a lot of times when you guys book the readings um eat regardless of what day it is if i have space and time depending on what i'm doing that day um if i can get your reading done that day i'll try to the same day you book it i'll try to go ahead and get you out of there um and do it the same day so i love you i love you i love you virgos i love you i love you much did i not use the other deck maybe i didn't i guess i didn't whatever anyway let me give you hold on i'm like i know i did not use this deck am i tripping no yes i am i am tripping but shit, your pride and ego, this person has played with your pride too much. And this person is belittled, like it's literally kicked you in your ego every time they be like looking in your phone, trying to smell your dick. And just like this person is a fucking psychopath. Anyway, I love y'all. Bye.